Hi guys, it's Nat here on with my Friday night book haul at the kitchen table with the old camera as usual. So I've got the books in bags next to me so I'll just grab them out bit by bit and show you. So I purchased two books today, I'm going to show them to you first. I found this one. I really love the embossing of the fish. It's awesome with the scales and that, so I reckon that would be nice to try and reuse. And it is Tropical Aquarium Fishes. Something a bit different. It looked quite old, so someone's written on the inside. Must have been for someone's birthday or something. I know someone leaving to go somewhere by the looks. that picture I haven't even had a good look at it I just did a little flick through and thought oh this looks good so but I love that you can tell it's old when it's got the glassine paper that's been printed on too goldfish varieties uh, so it's 1932 that page very nice That's some nice vintage photos so it was uh, my first day back at the shop since we had um, our mini lockdown Pages are nice and thick, so that'll be good to use. But I was really attracted by the illustrations. Look at that! Only a mother could love that. <laughs> a lion head. <laughs> so yeah, really love the illustrations in it. So nice. The old book and then my work mate found this one so it's the court of flora les fleurs and a maze the engraved illustrations of jj granville published in 81 not the oldest but it's nice and cream it's got the age spots on the um, outside of the pages it's got all these beautiful photos or illustrations I should say Creepy, it's like a clown stealing a woman. So this might be an interesting read, this one. But the photos are awesome. I should stop saying photos. Don't mind me. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all last night, so <laughs> I might say some stupid stuff, but that's probably not unusual either. That's gorgeous. I was determined to get this done, nevertheless. Trying to sort of stay up till a decent time tonight so I can have a really good sleep and get up in the morning. I'm expecting a delivery from Ikea with a Calyx unit, so I have to be up for that. Then I can get my craft room sorted. That rose one, I think I had a copy of that in a rose book that I have. They're obviously popular pictures those. So they're my purchases and then we've got the stuff that I grabbed from the bins. The bins were absolutely full so there was a lot there but not too much. I can't come home with two bags but 
love the cover on this one. Oh, and this one was really exciting too because I grabbed the ones that I thought looked good, put them in my bag, and then I was showing my workmate this one and I opened it up and all this stuff fell out. And then we got really excited looking at it all, but the cover is just awesome. So it was gifted in 1905 for Irish history in the fifth grade. Something about the Christians Brothers College in Adelaide. And then it's got the photo. So this is 1902. Love the first page, love all the pages really, gorgeous. It's copyrights 1892 by the looks. It's got a list of illustrations. I'll go from the back. So it has these awesome illustrations. I think it was this one that had some ephemera in it. Or it could have been. Hang on. Yeah, it is this one. Because my other workmate grabbed the book off of me at one stage. And I didn't realise why he grabbed it. <laughs> and then I realised he's getting the sticky tape and trying to stick the broken bits back together. I was like, don't touch it. <laughs> I think you felt bad when I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't put sticky tape on it. <laughs> I think I said, what are you doing? I'm going to rip it up. <laughs> but yeah, I won't be doing that for a while. So it had all these bits of paper in it. So absolutely gorgeous old book. Great cover. And then it come with a whole lot of ephemera for me. So this is... Almost like a foil paper. Looks like it's almost been burnt, so that's really neat. And then it has this. Be careful with these pages. This is a copy of a letter dated 1907 called The Primaries. And it is a poem. Look at that writing. So that's really cool. And there's this piece which is National Irish National Society of South Australia. Unity Chambers, uh, 1918. I beg to acknowledge receipt of the application for membership in the above named society. So, really cool. And it's got their writing on it. So it's just that on the half piece of paper there. And it had some newspaper clippings about the Christian Brothers College. He's written a date on there, 1907 again. There's one about football and one about the March of Education. Humphrey's Fine Tomato Sauce, that's cool too. And then there's this little piece, which is the Southern something or other. Catholic Notes. And it's got this poem. So this is dated Friday, August 23rd, 1907 as well. And it had this, Souvenir Easter Week 1916. And inside of that, it's got this. Who fears to speak of Easter Week? And it's got these photos of Thomas Macdon, McDonough, Joseph Plunkett, P.H. Pierce. So I thought that was really cool. Nice little added bonus there. Grab a couple more out. Can't even remember.
board. I've got um, lots of library cards in this lot. I couldn't look through every book to see, but uh, 1949, that one's from. Doesn't look that old, does it? Keep well, those. I'll just rip them out if I can too, just for collaging. Um, does one have a date on it? 1992. It's the last date on it. 77 and 92. 100 Bible Stories. This is a gorgeous book. The pictures are really nice in here. I've got a few like this. I don't think I will end up using these, but I don't like seeing things with such beautiful illustrations going in the bin, so grab them. I'm sure that someone might like some pages. So this is 1950. Oh, I like these pages with the old sticky tape marks on. But look at the colour in the pictures, they're beautiful. Looks like someone's been writing the page numbers on it. But at least they've left the pictures alone. This is Cain and Abel. This, I think I really like the cover of this because it's brown. It looks in pretty good neck, the actual cover. And it's a good thickness to put some signatures into. So I would have got this, I think, um, purely for the cover. Oh, this is Jeffrey Archer, so it couldn't be too old. I was going to say because the cover's in really good neck. Uh, 85, the last print of this. So yeah, that'll be gutted. All that cover. Beautiful size too. And grab this again for the cover. This is Vanity Fair. The front's really good. The spine's a bit creased there. It's a nice paper. The date. I don't think it's too old. I can't find a date on it. But yeah, that one's for the cover as well, but the pages will be cool to make some pockets on that with. This is How to Make Good Pictures, the Kodak Manual for Amateur Photographers. Interested to see how old this one is. 51 this one. But I do like how old the pictures and diagrams and that are. Oh, that's cute. This is Road Atlas of Australia. Could stop getting atlases. I love the colours in this. So for colour theme journals, I think these pages would be nice folded. A good size. This is the Australasian Book of Thoroughbred Racing. Another horse. 1974. I love the age of these pictures as well. Some beautiful pictures. Page is quite nice to use as well.
fighters of World War II. It's got some nice diagrams of the planes. I thought maybe some glue booking, that sort of thing for those. They look nice and clear edge to be able to fussy cut. Flags of the world. I like this paper. And I don't know if it had stickers or they're just bits you can cut out. They're all just bits you can cut out. That's a sticker page. So it looks like just one sticker page, but that's all right. There's a few neat stickers on there. This one I was excited about. I put it in the bag and it's fallen to bits, but it was getting there anyway. The Ladies Home Journal Cookbook. <laughs> I love my retro cookbooks. Look at that. Nineteen sixty this one. Recipes are a nice size for German cards. Gotta love those pictures, eh? Gold and paper. Didn't get much of a look at this either. It's quite a nice cover, nice width as well. It's big though. Usually I just see a picture like that or whatever, and I think okay, I'll put it in my bag and have a better look when I get home. So this is 58. So it has some nice architectural pictures by the looks. And other vintage pictures. Not a lot. That'll be cool ephemera. So yeah, not many pictures, but the most of them are quite good. of these so I grabbed them I sort of like the cover in search of Ireland again green a map of Ireland nice thick pages it must be pretty old looking at those pictures today October 1930 it says on the introduction don't know if it has oh, yeah. love the colour of the pictures looks like it's got a few scattered through so that's pretty cool blue one and this one's in search of England oh look it's been written in 1932 that's gorgeous that is make a nice vintage journal just with the um, pictures that are in these two books maybe although this one might not have quite as many I'm probably missing them all now 
there were a couple of golden books. So I've got Christmas carols. Nineteen sixty one. That's a lovely one to make a little journal out of. It's by Kareen Malvin, the illustrations. This is the Christmas story. Eloise Wilkin. <laughs> I see the same face in lots of her books. I reckon. In pretty good condition for how old they are. History of Greece. Nineteen twenty five. It's got a few illustrations by the looks. Lots of the coins. The map doesn't seem to have the big architectural pictures that the other two had. It's a bigger picture there. favourites for today. This is The Cloister and the Hearth. Hearth. I've had a few copies of this I reckon but I reckon this is the best so far. I love that. Sort of got your leather look. It's a bit battered but I think it can be salvaged. Absolutely beautiful. Well, this is some of the ephemera that fell out of the other book. I thought there was more. This is another one about the application. It must be. Maybe a copy of this one. And I think this is the original handwritten letter and the other one we saw was the copy, maybe? Although that one's very blurry, sort of. And then there's this really nice brown paper and it's a page or a note about the Irish National Society. Might have to do a journal on that or something. So this is due in 1927. For a date. I don't know if it has any pictures, but it's got beautiful um, headings. But how well you can see that. Oh, is that another bit of ephemera? Nice oh, picture page. Diagram. These would be nice pages to make pockets with as well, or a nice size. I love that. And then, I've got to, before I show you the last one, I did get more. Oh, I'm just trying to grab it all out as usual. Oh, a business card. 
I've got two business cards. This library card for soil chemistry, 1952. Another one for the Master of Black Tower. I pulled out a couple of pages from a book that I didn't want to keep. For some reason. It must have had a... It's not the best picture, really. Not the story of Everest. Okay, so the last book I got was another one for the cover and it's the Illustrated World History so it's probably got some good pictures but look at that. I reckon these ones were probably sitting on the boss's desk because people come across the really old ones that I think might be worth something and they put them on the boss's desk and then I think after a while he looks at them or whatever and decides that they're not all too scrappy or something so that's good for me. <laughs> So, but really neat. And look at the back, and that's embossed as well. Someone's written it for me, 1938. <laughs> so. Lots of old pictures in this since it's an illustrated world history thing. Cabinet cards. Hard to pass those ones up. So that was my book haul for today. I hope that was somewhat interesting to some of you. Take care of yourselves, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>